Well, the problem with dark money is you never know who is behind it. And in some cases, years later, we find out, oh, that was really X, Y, and Z Corporation that wanted to buy our votes. Uh, but at the time, it will simply be a, a, a name, uh, Citizens for Better Government, or The Future of Arizona is Bright. These all are names, and I'm making up most of those, which are innocuous sounding, really motherhood and apple pie. But the bottom line, the secret is you don't know who's behind them. You'll probably have some executive that is running the show. They're incorporated as a 501c4, an educational nonprofit. They are not required under Arizona law to, to tell you who their contributors are, and they refuse to do so. So as Secretary of State, I believe it's absolutely critical, A, to investigate, and I'm experienced at that. I've spent a lot of time going after the cartel agents who launder money across the border. Uh, and I think some of the same skills that I used to find the original money launderers, we can use to find the original contributors of dark money. So I want to publicize those organizations that are failing to provide the names of their contributors. I, I'm going to go out and anybody who will listen is going to find it on my webpage and they'll, I'll find it in any publicity that is possible as to which ones are not complying with the request to tell you who their contributors are. I'm going to go to the legislature and ask them to give us some, uh, some laws with teeth in them so that we can go after the original source and disclose them. Uh, or they won't be able to participate in Arizona elections. That's the statute we need. Other states have done it. We can do it. Uh, we must do it. And if the legislature fails, I intend to go to the people of Arizona with an initiative to ban dark money in our state.